The Niagara on the Lake Museum kicked off its virtual lecture series October 6th with a look at the archaeological dig behind the historic Niagara Apothecary on Queen Street. This Wednesday, October 20th, the focus turns to the Welland Canal Museum Managing Director and Curator Sarah Kaufman joins us. Sarah, why the Welland Canal this week? Uh, so the Welland Canal is obviously very strongly tied with Niagara's history, Niagara and Lakes history. And uh, so, you know, it, it, the building of the Welland Canal affected our industry here because, of course, the Niagara River was the portage route. And so, um, you know, it's a part of Niagara's history. When that Welland Ship Canal was built, it, it had an effect on us. And so we're excited to have Kathleen Powell, who is a good friend, to come and talk about that history. We've had Kathleen Powell on the source many, many times, and she's a fantastic resource from the St. Catharines Museum. She's excellent. Uh, she obviously has done a lot of research. She's been at that museum for several years now, and she worked on the Welling Canal Memorial. That's right near the uh, museum, as, you know, nearby. So we were very excited to have Kathy. We, I've worked with her with the Museums of Niagara Association on several occasions, and a lot of the curators in Niagara, we like to help each other out and talk about uh, what we research and what goes on in our communities for their members. So uh, I'm very excited to have Kathy come and, and chat here too. The lecture series goes every two weeks on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. November 3rd after that focuses on Indigenous treaties. This should be a very interesting one. Definitely. And it's coming from the Ontario Ministry of Indigenous Affairs, which, um, you know, I've often heard treaties uh, discussed by Indigenous uh, consultants or researchers, which as always amazing lectures. And so it's nice to get a perspective of the individuals who are working at the Ministry of Indigenous Affairs to talk about the land claims in Ontario. Sarah, you mentioned that when the Welland Canal was built, it took shipping away from Niagara. Another industry that left Niagara around the middle of the 20th century was the railway. That's the focus of your next event. Yes, yeah, so the railway history in Niagara on Lake had a huge effect on our community, of course, and had not been researched previously. And Peter Mulcaster came in, he did a lot of research at our museum and other sources, of course, um, across you know the region and Ontario. So he has done a significant amount of research and he's the best person to talk about this railway history uh, in Niagara on Lake. And I'm really looking forward to hearing him chat because he does have a book called uh, Off to Paradise Groves, which is excellent and available in the museum's gift shop. And if anyone's interested in railway history in Niagara on Lake, he's probably, I send people his way. <laughs> and on December 1st, a certain curator and managing director of the Niagara on the Lake Museum herself hosts that virtual event. Yes, so I'm doing the talk on the War of 1812 collection. Um, I did a part one that uh, people really enjoyed. I did a lot of research on War of 1812 history and I worked a lot with the collection here in uh, in Niagara on Lake and did the, the major exhibitions during the bicentennial. And when I did my first talk, we had a really great turnout. People were very interested and we have such a massive collection of 1812 stuff. I say it's probably the best 1812 collection in Canada. And um, I, you know, there's enough that I can do another session. So I'm excited to, to explore and, and highlight some of the, you know, key pieces from our collection again, on top of what, you know, part one explored. The virtual series ends on December 15th with Rochelle Bush and a look at black history. Yeah, so Rochelle obviously is a well-known local historian of uh, black history. And so, you know, we have a lot of significant black history in Niagara in general, but Niagara on the Lake specifically. And we tried to highlight that with the Voices of Freedom Park that opened in Niagara on the Lake near the courthouse. And so we're excited to have Rochelle come and talk about it a bit more because I don't think people realize how significant the black history was here in our community in Niagara in general, but Niagara on the Lake as well. So. Uh, we're really excited to have her. She's really well known locally for, for Black History. Again, all of these sessions are on Wednesdays, 11 o'clock. Please pre-register for them. That's correct. And they're all being done online so people can do it from the comfort of their own home. Sarah, thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me.